<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Welcome to episode five. I am here today with Andrea, Mrs. Drea Closet. These clothes, yes, we are cute today. <laughs> How are you doing today, huh? I'm great. How about yourself? Good deal. I'm awesome. I had to bring her on because you guys have to know that dressing is a part of self care, especially for women, especially black women. We got to get it together. Um, this outfit she has on right now, oh my God. <laughs> so stand up and let them see this outfit. She killing it. And this is hers. Go ahead and break down what's going on here. So this is actually from my last collection. This is the okay. apricot set. Um, okay. It's actually like a Chanel inspired piece. So, okay. So I know our ladies like to look nice. Sometimes, you know, the designer is not really in the budget, but I still want to keep the pieces that I picked affordable. Okay. Um, you have on our Baroque skirt set, hey. which was a fave. It's so pretty. Yes. The purple, <laughs> purple is the color right now, okay? Yes, it's purple. Lavender, <laughs> uh, dark purple, 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 mm -hmm. you know, so. <laughs> but this is, I like pieces too, because I like to mix and match stuff. So with that piece, like you okay. can obviously do it with jeans. You can do it with like some pants like this in a different okay. color. So in with your skirt. So I like mix and matching pieces and stuff like that. So that's kind of where I pull from. I want the ladies to be able to get more out of whatever they, they buy from me. So. Okay. What made you like start? Like you just said, you know what? We're going to do clothes. <laughs> this what got you inspired? has been a journey for forever. Okay. Um, I've always been into fashion as, as a kid, always been okay. into fashion. Um, I can say it probably started with my grandmother and then obviously with my mother. Okay. Um, I always wanted to start a business. Didn't know how. Okay. So obviously the pandemic, um, we oh, were all yes. at home. I'm a working mom and I was like, I don't know how to do this, but I know this is what I want to do. Yeah. So it actually started with me selling my personal clothes out of my closet. Oh, wow. You know, okay. I started selling clothes out of my closet. I was on Poshmark. I was on Instagram. I started oh, a whole wow. page and Dang. just went crazy. So I was like, let me really take my time to do mm -hmm. this. You know, Google's your best friend. Okay. Yep. And I just found some vendors. I was like, I might be on something. Oh, wow. Okay. And then oh, from no. there, um, I started off as dressing with Dree. I used to take okay. pictures at work, like what I wore for the day. And that's okay. kind of where the hashtag came from. Okay. Um, and then I no longer wanted to sell clothes out of my closet. And... I was like, okay, I started thinking on a bigger grand scheme. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, dressing with Dre is cute, yeah. but how far do I want to go with this? So I was like, okay, let's change the name. Let's make it bold. Let's brand it. So I changed it to Andrea. Okay. Um, a lot of people weren't okay with that, but. <laughs> Why they was Because they was used to saying dressing with Dre, D W D. Oh, yeah. You know, when you yeah. got something, it's like, why yep. you messing with what we got? But I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I might want to branch off to home because I like decorating. So, oh, okay. you know, I just had to think bigger. You know, yep. you got Chanel, you got Gucci. You can't just put them in a box with just yep. clothes, you, you know? Cannot. <laughs> so, branded purposes, I changed the name. And okay. You taking the heck off, I'm going to tell you that much. Because you got a lot of people that want to wear your clothes now. And it's like you're giving, like, it's a different look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're saying at an affordable price, too. Because yeah. it's like, I said, it's time for me to change at the game. Yeah. I got to change it now. So I'm like, I'm comfortable. I feel a lot more confident and everything. So thank you for that. You look good, too, girl. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. How is it balancing off, though, like your baby girl? I already know. <laughs> right. She be, she be on Instagram going in, okay? When you be posting her, how do you have to? I know she be in your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> so just I have everything. two girls, a two-year-old and a nine-year-old. Okay. Um, so I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. In the beginning... It was a little rough because my husband didn't understand why are you on this computer all, all day, day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all day. So I had to explain it like when well, you burping a baby, you yeah. know, you have to be there. Like yep. I can't, I wish I could just put this out and be done with yep. it, but no, <laughs> you know, so I was always thinking of ways to become innovative and then by me still working mm -hmm. uh, my nine to five. 
um, which was which is honestly the easiest part because I work from home. Oh, um, okay. So that's even doper. Yeah. Okay. I'm an IT system analyst by day. So my okay. job is not overwhelming. It's not demanding when they okay. need me, you know. So that makes it mm -hmm. easy with work and then trying to be an entrepreneur. Okay. The wife part is easy as well. Okay. Um, for the most <laughs> part, um, my husband is not a very demanding man. Like, I want dinner seven days a week. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that makes it easy. My children, obviously, you can't turn a mother, you can't turn that hat off. That so that's always anywhere. on. Um, I feel like you just prioritize. Like, okay. you just have to do whatever needs to be done. I don't know if it's really a right or a wrong answer. You just... You're all right about that. As long as you're at peace and you balance it. Exactly. So it's a good thing. It's a lot of women now, they want to do all of that, but it's just like, okay, how do I balance this? How do I balance that? And you're right. It's it's a priority thing. Yeah. So um, it's been a whole year mm -hmm. since you did that. We went to high school. I told kids that we went to high school together. Yes. And it's funny. We crossed paths, but we <laughs> never really, really had a chance to talk. Yeah. But I spotted that damn purple shirt. The one I did on episode you did. one. Yeah. I said, oh, no, I want that shirt. <laughs> I said, I'm going to have to holler at her Listen a whole lot more. And then you posted this other outfit, the red, the, the video I posted the other oh, day. Oh, with the dress? Which with this, you oh. had on the one piece, the red oh, yeah. outfit, yeah. and then the shirt. I was like, uh-uh. Nah, she got to come on to the show. She got to show these women what's going on. How important um, do you think, like, what would you tell the women as far as dressing on a daily basis, keeping your, your confidence level up? Like, I'm pretty sure husband always that's, he complimenting you on a daily basis. Like, all of that stuff comes into play. So, like, how what would you tell them the message of, like, the importance of it? Okay. Now, this might ruffle some feathers. What they they're saying, though, okay. you girls like to tussle, right? Yeah, they be fine. <laughs> so, I know we like our joggers and we like our leggings, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then there's times where we have events. We have bridal showers. We have mm -hmm. weddings. We have birthdays. And, you know, you want to look good. Yeah. So, I wanted to be the go-to person when I want to look good when I have this event. You know, I didn't want to just be the house of the joggers. Not saying there's nothing wrong with that because right. I do love a good jogger. That's me Monday through Friday. Most definitely. You know, but <laughs> I feel like, you know, when you, how did you feel when you put that on? You, it, I it, felt different. Exactly. Like, you heard the look. Did you see what I posted on there? I said, oh, it's the purple lotus flower in the flesh, baby. You know. It, like her head on right. I'm in the game, nah. Yeah. Like, even yeah. you know, when you get your hair uh -huh. done, you got a bomb outfit, you got some cute shoes on and stuff. It does something to your confidence. Yeah. It yeah. definitely, you know. Like I said, a jogger suit, you know, you're like, okay, I got to run to the grocery store. Let me just throw these on. Yep. It doesn't give you that same. That same. Uh, uh. Yeah. You know, I so you. I wanted to be that person that'll give you when you look in the mirror like, dang, I look good today. And that's mission accomplished. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh, so are you going to think about opening up like a big old store? Is that coming soon? Or are we just going to kind of slow roll that by ear? I used to say, no, I'm never opening a store, right? <laughs> Sound like me. <laughs> and then my mom mm -hmm. was like, stop saying that because you don't know what God has in store for you. Yep. So I said, if it's in God's plan, then I mm -hmm. will. However, I'm not in a rush to because I'm able to reach so many people. Like yep. I've shipped to Hawaii. Ooh. Obviously, Canada is not far, but Canada, mm -hmm. um, you know, Tuscaloosa. You oh, know Lord. Yeah, I did some Tuscaloosa. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you know, um, so I'm able to reach a lot of people. Okay. By doing this, is no overhead, no yeah. massive overhead as of right now. So, obviously, as my business grows, mm -hmm. whatever need there is, I'm sure the Lord is going to supply it for me. So. Have you did, like, a little check to see about how much you think it's going to probably cost you? <laughs> no. <laughs> for that um, overhead. It was... I was offered, it was a, it's a very popular uh, store okay. in Michigan, and I ain't gonna say the name, um, but I shopped there, uh, shopped there frequently, okay. and um, I was telling a lady, you know, like explaining to her what I was doing, and she was okay. like, well, just jokingly, like, you want to buy this store? I'm no. Like, and it kind of put me Three in back, like. Do I? Because it's, it's, a, it's a very known <laughs> store, so the traffic is already there. Okay. 
in oh, and out. Oh, so you can put your um your clothes in other people's uh stores and stuff with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now that I mean Well, she wanted me to buy the brand. Like it's oh. a very like say you got Macy's, everybody knows what Macy's is. Right. She was ready to retire because she's been doing it for forever. Oh, wow. And she okay. wanted me to take that location. So with that location It'll bring that traffic that's already there. That it's a staple piece, so people already know this Where brand for 40, 50 years. Okay. Um, wow. And I was instantly, I was like, no. <laughs> but then I got home and thought about it like, dang. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, whatever meant to be will be. But I didn't look any more into it. But Yeah, if your spirit didn't move you that way, then you don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, because I was going to ask you that too, like putting your um, clothes like in Macy's and stuff like that, would that be like... Also, that's kind of because you still won't have to really deal with overhead yeah. and stuff. But um, with that, because I do wholesaling now, so with wholesaling, okay. you know, obviously I'm going to different vendors and I'm buying okay. their pieces, and okay. that's also another reason why I changed the name because I eventually want to design my own pieces. Like I have okay. these outfits in my head, and if I can't go to Google and pull it up, I'm like, dang, if I only just could make this myself, okay. you know. So like to sew it. So you just need somebody to sew. So, yeah, I need somebody to take what's in my, and they have special people like this, to take what's I in my head. I got somebody, too. Mm-hmm. So, that's what I need. Like, yeah, she cold with the, uh, she got that big old industrial machine. She in Atlanta, though, but, yeah, she has a whole um, collection. It's the Adamus collection, so she actually sold all her wedding dresses. Really? She do everything. Yep. But See, that's a skill. I'll have to try to, um, I'm going to contact her. Um, mm-hmm. Daphne, I'm going to get with you, girl. <laughs> that's Yeah, awesome. her name is Daphne Adams. I'm I have to uh, definitely get with her and see if that's something that she can do because that's man, she cold. That that is a, look, that is a skill. Can't nobody take away from me. But <laughs> that's eventually my end goal is to have my own brand, um, you know, and okay. grow from there. And yes, and then be able to put them into different markets and different stores and all of that stuff. So okay. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of people. Now I do see a lot of people on Facebook that's our friends, mutual from Northwest and everything mm-hmm. rocking, especially uh, Brenda. Yes. Most definitely. That's Brenda. my baby. Cause she be having on some cute stuff. I say, yeah. I bet you that's Andrea stuff. I love me some Brenda. That's, yeah. I call her my granddaddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, you hear that? <laughs> she <know. laughs> But yeah, my friends are very supportive. Um, you know, I'm going to ask you that too. Like, is it more of your friends and your family that's doing more uh, supporting? If I'm honest, my top customer is mm-hmm. my first cousin. Really? My very my first cousin never asked for a discount. So let's say okay. I've been around, I'm, let's say 16 months. My cousin's probably at her 30th order. Oh, wow. So that's, okay. that's like two orders a month, you know, which is. Wow. Uh, I'm about to be the same way, cousin. No you know, um, I'm not in. I'm not the type of person that I feel like you have to order for me because right. everything is not for everybody. You right. know, like I don't want to feel like, oh, just because I didn't order for you that you I mean, that they don't love me or care about right. me. You know, I don't mm-hmm. never put that pressure on nobody. You yeah. make them feel, I just post my videos and if it touch your spirit, yeah, then you go, go to the site. <laughs> You're going to be like, hold on, wait a minute. Just like what it did to me. Mm-mm, she coming on this show. Let me get her. Yeah. Um, but I yes, my friends are supportive as well. So. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. <sighs> yes, it is. Okay. You're it's, getting into some purses? We got some shoes. Listen, we ain't gonna do it. I know you said y'all on my now. head, okay? Because I, I honest, and it's so funny because when you go to on your website, it will show you kind of keywords that people mm-hmm. look for, and they type in shoes. shoes yes. <laughs> Where is the shoes? Mm-hmm. And because your shoes be off the chain. I mean, Listen. they on fire. Every shoe that you got. Because I'm like the shoes you had to go with this. I'm like, where is the <laughs> shoes? <laughs> Trying to find them shoes. Yeah. Um. So I have to find the things with shoes. Because I'm a shoe lover. I don't want to put out anything cheap. You know, yeah. I don't want... Mm-hmm. It's it's very tricky. So, you you know, with clothes, like, okay, yeah, it got a little bit of stretch. But you mm-hmm. can't... It's kind of hard to tell with a foot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I definitely want something of quality. I want unique. Like, something like how I wear. Yeah. So, that's the same, like, the same expression that I do with the clothes. Like, yeah. If I'm not gonna wear it, I'm not selling it. Sell it. Yeah. Look, I sent her. Look, I sent her a picture of some shoes yesterday. She was like, "I'm not a fan of them shoes. I'm gonna need you to put them back." I was like, "Okay." Listen, <laughs> the only and this is how I know it's growth because the old me would have been like, "Yeah, them 
fuck you. No, yeah. when uh-uh. I was like, the color matches. But if I'm, I want to mm-hmm. be honest. I want people yeah. to feel like they can trust I me. I love it. So, <laughs> I'm like, dang, I don't want to hurt nobody feelings. But, you know, it's Girl, always a way that you can say stuff. I threw the shoes back down so back. Because I'm like, you know better than me at this point with this dress I'm about to wear. So, hold on. We're going to put them back. I'm glad you didn't take it to her. I just said, no, I'm not a fan of it. But the color does match. Yeah. But, uh, you know, because I'm... I, now, when you told me them, I was like, that's it. <laughs> that's so it. you did it. <laughs> that's yeah. what's up. So, um, as far as, like, your mom and, like, your so you got sisters and stuff, correct? Yes. Do they wear your clothes? Um, so, okay. <laughs> so, this is another issue. So, yes, they do. Oh, okay. um, I have three little sisters. Uh-oh. Uh, they're 19, 18, 18. That's a whole nother story. 25. Um, my 25 year old sister, now she gonna watch this too. Oh, yeah, I know. She, <laughs> I, my clothes ain't a hoochie enough for her. Oh, <laughs> she needs some more exposure. Yeah. Okay. She be trying, she does wear some uh, pieces. And then my 18 year old sister, um, I have one. One one of my eighteen year old sisters on my dad's side, she like she's the auntie of the year. She keeps my kids, okay. um, whatever I need her for. And then I have my other eighteen year old sister on my mom's side. She like she could tell me every name of, of every, every piece. Clo- oh yeah, mm-hmm. she works my pop up shops with me. Um, okay, she she my little protege. Okay. Um, my mom she, my mom my aunt and my stepmom they're also really big supporters. Okay. Um, they get on me because I don't have plus size pieces anymore. Uh-oh. Yeah. So but what size do you stop at? I um I try to get up to excuse me to extra large. Okay. Um, but a lot of the pieces have stretch, so okay. they take advantage of that. Um, and I try okay. plus size pieces, and eventually, okay. you know, as I grow, I probably will add it back. Um, yeah, those but, part, those like the hardest ones to get. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say that, too. Um, yeah. And I want to be authentic, so I can't really try it on a, you know, a lot of times where I'll have, you know, like this piece, it won't come in a plus size. So it's like, okay. by me being the face right now, it's kind of hard to yeah. market to them. Um, what but, about like a model? If you find like a... I know we got a friend, somebody yeah. um, that's a plus size or something, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I had a model too in the beginning. Um, okay. There, there is a, a piece of demand that comes with that one. You know, okay. hair, makeup, scheduling. Yep. My thing. I am a stickler. Like when I'm ready to work, I'm ready to work. Ready like to work. I'll have, like, say if I book a photo shoot and I got an hour. I can knock out 16 outfits by myself in an hour. Whereas if I'm working with somebody else, exactly. That's what I say. I'll go nuts. Like, oh my, yeah, because them videos, you be boom, 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 boom. It be be so fast. And I'm like, well, damn, she can try it on about seven outfits on that one picture. Listen, I I try to, I try to just work two hours, get all this done, get my content for the week done in two hours. Um, so how do you like when you post in your video? So what you do like on a Sunday, you post, and then that's gonna be it for the rest of the week. Well, you'll make it, and then you just post them through the week. Then, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I might do twice a week because that's where the balance came in. Um, yeah, I used to be every day like, let me take a new picture. Um, but I was like, no, let me prioritize this time. Yeah. And if I already have in my head, okay, I know if I got a new collection, I know I want to shoot for this collection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so I kind of just spread it out and. Um, just have a plan beforehand. That way I can execute okay. it. Somebody asked me the other day, like, girl, where you be going to take these pictures? I know, because you be everywhere. <laughs> she, be, she be everywhere. And I'm like, where's that statue with it? Is that downtown somewhere? Where is she at? Is she out of town? Because that don't look like a trick. <laughs> that don't look like Michigan. <laughs> like, you be on the sea. Like. Yep, sidewalk. <laughs> Against a wall, I feel like this girl be getting it in. Like, I ain't mad that you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Are you thinking about like having a YouTube station with your clothes? Because that's do. like a real big thing right now for you. For yeah. real. You do that and you do like a, um, because uh, my other best friend, she does the clothes hauls. So if she orders something from you, yeah. she's gonna put it on her YouTube station, try it on, show it off, and then she's gonna put the credits in there to yeah. go to you or whatever so people can follow you. So. And we're going to do the same thing on here. So okay. at the end, they know where to find you at. You're going to tell them where to find you uh-huh. at. Say, come get you, girl. Get some of this money. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> um, so I do have a YouTube. Um, what I've been doing now, because I was trying to make 
Instagram, my baby. Then I was like, okay, TikTok, they showed me a little bit mm -hmm. of love. So then I focused on TikTok. Okay. But what I've learned to do is just take those same videos and start uploading it to my um, YouTube. Oh, okay. And yeah. Yeah, Ooh. that makes sense. Let's work. So and what's your YouTube? Make sure you tell it on what's your YouTube station. I, think, I hope it's my new name. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I changed it, but it's Andrea A N D R E E A A. All right, now y'all go on there and support my girl. Yes, follow. That's the website. That's my Instagram. <laughs> well, my Instagram is Andrea Shop. Um, but I know you said we'll get into that. But mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I take those same videos. I use Pinterest. I take okay. the same videos. Pinterest. You know. Pinterest oh. is hot. Pinterest. So you got some pictures on Pinterest. I okay. Do. Okay. I'm up here. You know what? When I see Pinterest, when I think of it, I get a lot of recipes off of there. That's about Listen. it. But I didn't really go off into the clothes or anything that like that. That is my holy grail. When I need a good caption, uh -oh. motivation quotes. <laughs> like, pictures to get you all that you need. What okay. goes with this gold purse? You know, like. Really? Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I see your purse color that you got now. Oh, that don't count. I had a, look, I had on a jogger today. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that. it could kind of go. It's like a. Uh, yeah. Top color block. <laughs> Get your thing. Don't worry. Um, so what do you think as far as like, I know you going through, um, you got your clothes going on. You got all this. What do you think about um, the things that I have been talking about as far as women like healing and things of that nature before, you know, they go into certain situations, even clothes being involved, everything. It's a lot of that, a lot of self-care. So what is like your self-care plans or things that you do to keep you saying like Sundays you know that's usually our day mm -hmm. it's on Sunday yes. so that you do like time out for everybody nobody getting no food today we ain't selling <laughs> no clothes today <laughs> no dress up today like <laughs> how yes. does your self-care day go I had to create this thing called business boundaries oh because um, people would try you you know yeah. and then I also had to so first of all, Mondays is usually my day because my daughter will go, one goes to school, then the other will go with my dad. My husband's usually gone, and then our older children are in school. Okay. So it's just me, okay. and it's just quiet. It's just Very quiet. <laughs> like 32 minutes, okay, and then he look. might come to the house on the phone, like, what you say? I got the bike. Thank you for 30 minutes. But um, <laughs> that, and then I love to travel. Okay. I love to travel. Um, I remember my husband was like, I'm going to call him Mike. You know, people be like, my husband, my husband. I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but uh, he was like, we might have to cut this traveling stuff out for a bit, for at least a year. I was like, oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I don't smoke. I'm not a drinker. Mm -hmm. I like to shop a little bit. I was like, but traveling is my vice. That's what I love to okay. do. I was like, I did this before I had a husband. I did this before I had kids. Mm -hmm. I can't take, I don't care if I go down to Drive Toledo down. Yeah, somewhere, right. you know. So you got to go do something. But um, but now I, I'm a little spoiled, so I do like going out the country because I like seeing different stuff. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't do that as much as I like, but mm -hmm. I love to travel. I love okay. different places. Um, I get a massage once a month. Um, you know, I might even flat iron my units. I got a couple units. <laughs> that is therapeutic to me. I, girl, I took a curly class just so really? I, I did. Okay. You know, I got all these tools. You think I got uh, a hair, what is it, leak in my bio for me to do oh some Oh, my hair. God. <laughs> so it's going down. Okay, but I, I love doing that. I, um, I would just style my units. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. that's therapeutic to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you find something that, doesn't feel like work and just yep. give you a peace of mind. I'm at an age where peace is just very so, important. I don't care. Family, yep. peace is so important to me. There you go. I, <laughs> I mean, knock on wood, God forbid, but I haven't had drama in my life in a long, long time because I don't yeah. allow it. Yeah. I'm not going to argue with you. Like, y'all hear this, ladies? Listen. Y'all hear the first thing I preach? Let people go. Yeah. People that's not deserving of your energy, you let them go. Yeah. And you will be at peace. That is so, but that's true. That's yeah. true. Um, mm -hmm. You know, even, I don't know we, if you want to go there, but you know, like. Oh, go even, there, baby. We don't have no filter on this show. Go but you ahead. Know, uh, if you take, because I was a single mother for a long, well, for a few, yeah, I was a single mother. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have the drama with my daughter's dad. 
because I didn't want it. I just wanted you to take care of your kid. Yeah. And I, you know, the thing is you have to take your feelings out of it and you have to look at what's important Mm -hmm. because I, if I would have argued with him every day about what I didn't like or what he didn't do do right, I would, I would be a mess. You Mm -hmm. know, that's draining to, to yourself. And he's still going on about his day. So I, I learned, I learned from that situation. Like, this ain't what I want, so that's how I was able to get my mm-hmm. peace. Like, yeah, for sure, it's definitely important. I'll be telling people all the time once you get a little taste of this peace, honey, yeah. you're not gonna want to go back from it. So, for sure, you know, it's a lot of our people as you elevate, and I know when you went into that different transformation, and both yeah. of us really started birthing babies during the pandemic mm-hmm. because I started my business during the pandemic yes. time, and it was like that time to sit down. Mm-hmm. It was like okay. 38 <laughs> well at the time I was with 36 or yeah. something at the time and I was like it's time out you yeah. know I was in that old in my in my toxic marriage that I was in and I yeah. said I gotta get rid of that yeah. I said I gotta do other stuff it's gonna have to be for me yeah and once I made that decision it was over with you yeah. know and that elevation comes a lot of people start falling around you as well you know what I mean so it's family it's friends it could be anybody yeah. but we have to still stay focused keep yeah. your head in the game because at the end of the day once you're done, they'll come back around. And Absolutely. when they do come back around, they're going to come right. Yeah. Because they'll know how you're showing people now, like even with this platform and what I'm doing and what you're doing, you're showing people how to treat you. Yep. You know, gracefully and peacefully, you teaching <laughs> them without having to say anything to them. Because a lot of time they're not even going to come in your in your space. Yeah. You know, when you at a certain level, you too high. You are so right. And it's in the mind. It don't have anything to do with you being cocky. Yeah. As I always say, you know, when you had that confidence and then your mind change, it's everything else is just like up oh, here you go yeah you're yeah. so right you're so right like they ask her, they said like is this textable because i know Andrea might not answer her phone yeah <laughs> <laughs> so and i don't mean no harm you yeah. know i i don't but sometimes i just don't be wanting to answer my phone yeah and you don't have to that's why you got red and green <laughs> and you have to decline and accept and you pay the bill you're right so you're it right. is what it is and i do the same thing you know people say oh you be disappearing and you be this but it's not that i just have to maintain that that space and it need to be very clear and sacred over here yes. and you just can't allow everybody to come in and just give you they stuff because yeah. you can't take on that you already got enough you know yeah. you got your husband you have your daughters you got your business and also you working mm-hmm. and it's like where do you have time for anything else like especially drama he he, we, he would say that to me all the time too because mm-hmm. i like i be wanting to fix everybody problems yeah. <laughs> and then he was like you can't make everybody problems your problem but yeah. i just you know i just want people to be happy because i yeah. know what it feels like and i know it's easier said than done, but I just yeah. be wanting to give them hope. I be wanting to crack a joke, like <laughs> just make them feel good, you know. And then yeah. I will take it on, like, but why he have to do that to my girl? Like, she, yeah. you know, like you can't do that. You can't yeah. make that. And I was like, I yeah. Know. And then you also at the same time when you when we say that, like to our home girls about their relationship issues, we never sit there and ask them, well, what you do? Yeah. Because we sitting there like. He did, girl, he did what? That's he true. Did, girl, he did mess up, true. he did this, and I'm like, nope, not no more. I don't do that no more. That so everybody true. know, they know when y'all call me. <laughs> the first thing I say, what you do? Yeah. What did you do? It, that's big, though, because yeah. a lot of people don't like taking accountability. Yeah. That is so big. like, yeah. And that's when you realize that you have growth when you're able to take accountability for your actions first, because it yes. starts from there. Yes, like, it does. I I'm, I'm partially lot. perfect. Yeah. No, I'm just like, I'm not. You're perfect. Yes, no, you're perfect. But I know. I mean, but I know. I, as my husband say, he'd be like flaws. Is this? I'm like, what is flaws? Is <laughs> flawless. <laughs> but, 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 on there, that right. flawless. But okay. um, you know, like that. That is very big, and that's when you know you've grown when you're able to look within, like you said, like what you do. Definitely you know? for sure. Um, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. You got any questions or anything for us, as always? Uh, no, not yet. I'm just kind of listening. But um, if we do want to just backtrack just a little bit, I know you mentioned um, briefly about being a single parent originally. Mm-hmm. Um, I know those relationships with, uh, like, uh, fathers of your children or, or mothers of your children, you know, whichever side you're on, a lot of times the relationship, um, your relationship gets in between you and the kid's relationship. So I just I did want to kind of ask about that. I know when you're talking about uh, healing and being accountable, like was it anything that sparked you to handle that relationship that way, or were you just always mature in that aspect? Because I 
I know a lot of women say like, yeah, well, you know, me and my the father of my child, like we got this relationship, everything is cool. I'm, you know, I take it, he take care of the kids, this, that, and the third. But like, was it always like that? I mean, just be a hundred with me. If I'm honest, <laughs> it was always like that. And I was done with that relationship when my daughter was two months old. So mm -hmm. she was new. I don't even think we've had an argument. She's about to be 10. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. I'll say, like, stuff. And he, he's not the arguing type. He, he, he still got some growing up to do, but, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, uh, but if I, if I express the issue, he'd be like, okay. He would mm -hmm. become combative with me because right. he knew he was wrong, but I was done. You know, it take a lot for a woman to leave. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when we go, True. you know, yeah. we've already did all we can do, yeah. you know? Yeah. So do you so, think it had anything to do with like his childhood as far as, cause right. that's where a lot of men, you know, that's where it, it comes from with all of us mm -hmm. and it always goes back to that you know the environment and how he was raised or whatever you know yeah uh -huh. yeah and you don't have to speak on it yeah right like, yeah most we'll, we'll leave that yeah we'll, we'll leave, leave that, that right there because that's usually what it is so definitely that's the though. root of it that's definitely sure. even even with myself you know with the I had to look at how I used to be with men and what I expected from them or what I was looking for. You know, you obviously it felt like it was something that you may have been missing. So, yeah, where did that come from? Like, why did I feel like I had to maybe stick around longer than I needed to or mm -hmm. accept this knowing that I deserve more? You know, so it had yeah. to come from somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so let's uh, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. let's let's stay right there. Okay. So when did you decide? Like, was this your issue? This was a concern that you had about yourself? On why I left? Uh, no, like, why you stayed so long? Or Because um, if it is, I'm just curious. Like, did you ever find out what the root of that issue was? Um, so I'm sorry, it's a, it's a two-part question, right? Okay. So okay. Did, you, did, you, no, like, did you ever find out what the root of that was? And um, what would you tell another young lady in that position how to handle it and maybe find herself sooner yeah um so i want to say i was self-diagnosed right <laughs> but i definitely okay. i honestly still do want to do therapy right you know like i said it takes you doing some self-reflection like why why because i know me now hold on my 36 36 year old me <laughs> definitely not take it t with 24 25 year old me yeah like, never okay yeah so um it was it was an attachment thing. It was uh, stability. And, like, I feel like when you know more, like, I wasn't educated on you You work so you can buy a house if your credit good. Like, right, you right, know, right. <laughs> like, I wasn't knowledgeable about those things until I became knowledgeable. Like, why? I don't need to live here. I don't yeah. need to. Yeah. I don't need his money. He ain't really buy me nothing. I buy all my stuff, yeah. you know. So it was just like, mm -hmm. why I'm here? Why? Why? Why I gotta keep on getting cheated on? Girl, you fine. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you're beautiful. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so it was like. Do I think you think it's strength from like my situation when I stayed? It was more like I didn't love myself, you know, enough to where you would not tolerate that stuff. A lot of times we don't even know. I'm yeah. thinking this whole time I love myself until I got into a relationship and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to take this shit. Yeah. Why am I taking this? <laughs> exactly. And it's like, that's when you, you figure it out. And you're like, oh, it was love that whole time. That, yep. It was, you become comfortable. Like, it's mm -hmm. just like, you know, sometimes, honestly, change is just scary. Yeah. Like, this is somebody that I was with for a long time. Like, dang, I got to meet somebody else. And yep. if I meet them, then ultimately I got to have sex with somebody else. Then yep. I got to have a, you know, you, yep. those are just things oh, that, that went into my head. Like, I don't want to do it to nobody else. Yep. But, <laughs> but, okay, so you want to do it to him and then whoever else he got going on. Yep. You know, so though, if, I mean, y'all, y'all ground. Yeah, you oh, know? for sure. Yeah, oh, but, we talk uh, about this all the time. So, That's definitely true. You know, it was just. I don't want to do this. I I don't, you know. And this is what I tell women. Sometimes it's so scary because sometimes we stay and we stay to and we keep on getting situations and we keep on like, all right, it's going good. But God forces us out sometimes, but we just don't yep. have no choice don't to have leave. A choice. Yep. You know, it could be a baby, it could be abuse, it could be a disease, mm -hmm. it can be he got killed, God forbid, anything yep. to where you just don't have no choice. But to leave. Yeah, yep. because you ignoring it all signs from yeah. red flags all yeah. the time. Oh baby, I ignored all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <honey>. Me too. 
<laughs> me too, but you know, no, and I said it always. Usually, it would take some type of trauma sometimes, and yeah. I hate for women to have to kind of go through that. That's why I'm trying to start this platform now to like listen to different women yeah. and things that we went through, so you can stop yeah. and be like, listen, nope, she went through that. She said this, this is gonna happen, cause it's like that emotional pain that struggle like why do you want to continue to keep feeling that yeah like i can remember those days them dark spots and them dark spaces i was in oh my god it was so dark i was like am i ever going to come yeah. out of this yeah i gotta get out of here yeah. but you still just glued yeah you know so uh, that, now did you was your um your mom and dad were they married no they weren't married okay. but they are married my mom has been married 25 years this year my dad 24 years this year so they weren't married to each other, but they are married, you know. Uh, and, and the thing, like, my mom, too, she did, well, didn't marry my father. Um, my dad is also married to someone else, and my mom was married, too. Um, when I got married to my son, father, at uh, 18 years old, mm -hmm. I was young. Yeah. Y'all don't remember that. I don't even know if you remember in North Western when I was pregnant. No. I was 16, and I got pregnant. You was, what, two? I think two you were burning them, two. Y'all was, like, two years mm -hmm. up burning me. So, yeah, by the time I was pregnant, I think I had left or whatever. Yeah. But, um... I tell women as well, like I was never really taught how to be a wife, even though we watch our mothers, yeah. they can be married to someone or whatever. But it's like, do we really get the opportunity? Are you teaching me how to be a wife? Yeah. You know, so that's another part where women also be lacking from when we go into relationships, we get older. We just watching our parents and we thinking it's something like, yeah. oh, she do this. But yeah, I think about was their relationship toxic at the time? What did your parents go through at the time? And it's like, that's what you learn. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like I had to figure it out. That is so true. So um, did you feel like you had to kind of teach yourself how to be a wife? You know what I mean? Or um, if I'm honest, it was because we established a friendship first. So it was so easy. It's easy to be a wife to him because you know some women be like oh, I gotta hurry up home because my husband about to come home like it's no it's just no demand on me you know like he might be like all right you want to cook what time this week you know he, we gonna eat but you want you to know it's only been what time you cook right <laughs> you know but it's That's not right. like oh shoot I, I shoot I'm getting trouble or he right. don't feel some type of way um it was just easy it's it was easy to be a wife to him you know like um that friendship is definitely important and i first. we talked about that too because i was a little mm -hmm. confused like you know once i feel like we dating and we spending all this time did we supposed to go together he like no <laughs> no that's <laughs> not <laughs> like the way <laughs> you said her before you walked in the door <laughs> i said that and i was like if you just want a platonic friend yeah. no sex involved or you just you know because your your demands are high or whatever and you a single woman it's like you be with a dude all the time yeah it's destined he gonna be like oh we go together yeah you know like we be spending too much time so i was no, like I'm still waiting like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll get in their feelings so it's like now i'm just like oh my goodness i have to try to um kind of minimize what mm -hmm. i do because i know right now my timing like me my my business is like demanding everything of me yeah. so i really don't have that time right now and then i'm yeah. not really mentally ready for it you yeah. know but when i do when i am mentally ready for it i'll yeah. be able to pull back he'll yeah. be able to slide in yeah you and know but <laughs> even if now just be my friend. Yep. You get what I'm saying? You never know where that's going to take you, even though I'm busy. Yeah. Still call me. Still yep. reach out. We still go out, you yep. know, and guys seem to be kind of scared, intimidated or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, yeah. come on now. <laughs> we, 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 we did have that problem. Like me starting my business was a little... It was a little different from him. I know it made him a little uncomfortable just because he he was familiar with the situation and before, mm -hmm. um, but I had to kind of reassure him that I'm not I'm yeah. not like your past situations, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he just did. He was just because it, it was foreign territory for the both of us. I'm starting yeah. a business, and he's like, okay, well, I know you work, but then you got this other stuff, stuff you know, going on. <laughs> that's really, really taking up all your time. Um, and obviously, we're not perfect, but it's just, it's just easy to be in yeah. a relationship with my husband. It's like, um, 
I just be want to be under his shirt. I want to be glued to him. You yeah. don't understand, <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand it. Like, no like, what you want that. me to stay home? You go to sleep, watch you sleep. I mean, if your presence is here, it's I'm just be. Sometimes it's just be the presence. Like, That's love. you That's know, I do like my quiet time. I like for you know us mm -hmm. to have our separate lives, but then I do want us to. I, that's why I enjoy going out with like you ain't yeah, gonna really see me that, up in no clubs. Oh no, that's your you go to. That's that, your road buddy right there. That's how you're it's supposed know. to be. He'd be like, man, I gotta go. He called me his girl. I was like, you better stop calling me your girl. <laughs> I ain't changing my name to be your girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta do something with my girl today. Be she up. Yeah. So that's what's up. So I, I got a question. I just want to jump in there real quick. I know you mentioned about starting a business. So how important is a healthy relationship? to the success of your business it's important um yeah. honestly because you ultimately want to build with that person you know yeah. what they say you need seven streams of income and all of the stuff mm -hmm. it's like okay this my one that's your one like what can we do together, together. Yeah. so if the relationship is not healthy ultimately you can't really build nothing together because y'all ain't even getting along yep. you know mm -hmm. so definitely important um it's communication is everything you know i'm not gonna say all men can't communicate but most be a little better <laughs> yeah yeah most definitely we talked about yeah. that too definitely yeah. communication yeah. look don't be putting your hands up look, look. you already know i have to get on my so, fellas uh -huh. so no i just i laugh at that because there are millions of women who who claim that men don't know how to communicate but then when you meet someone who knows how to communicate, you start realizing that it was you the whole time that didn't know how to communicate. You yeah. right. Yeah. You right. I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. We very, I got a couple of... Yeah. Yeah. You hit a point on that one. You right. And it is. Okay. I ain't got nothing to say. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, y'all a little bit more simple. You know, yeah. we, we emotional. Yeah. So that balance, like, a dude has to really know how to balance that off with his woman and say, you know what? She's emotional right now. I'm going to let her vent. I'm going to listen to her. That's the most important thing. Just yeah. listen. Listen to understand her <laughs> so that you can reply in the right way. That, and even if you do reply, it may not be what she want to hear. It may not fit. But mm -hmm. it still was like, oh, he listened to me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he gave me some type of answer. And they just say, man, go on with that. Yeah. Uh, just forget oh, about you it. Or you tripping. Yeah, you, you tripping. Know, Don't worry like about that. that. Yeah. But that is so. so true. What they say in therapy, like, um, now what did you hear her say? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, that, I know, I know my personality sometimes. I know I can be, um, uh, what's the word? Like, I know, not a lot, but um, I can have like a dominant personality, right? Okay. And what I like about Mike, I'm give him a name right now. <laughs> Mike got um, a name. <laughs> he knows how to say shut up without saying shut up to there me. You like, you know, mm -hmm. it's not like, you know, okay, enough. You, you talking too much, you know, but not being mm -hmm. rude or disrespectful. So then now... I know, like, okay, let me back down because maybe I am talking too much a little bit, you know, but yeah. it's never been a disrespect, but, you know, where well, you guys... Well, that's you also, you know, being able to reflect on yourself, too. So, yeah. with women, when we do get into arguments or whatever the case may be, we should be able to stop and reflect on that and say, you know what, babe, I'm sorry. Because yeah. I was being a little bit too masculine. Yeah. You know, sorry for snatching your penis off. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give it back to you and I'm going to take these pants <laughs> off and put my little dress but back you on. Right. Yeah. You know, and be a little bit more feminine because yeah. it's okay for them to do that. Because yeah. we can kind of, we so used to being in control, you a mom. So that nurturing part, that straight kicks in automatically. You know, yeah. even when you have a husband or a boyfriend or a significant other, whatever you want to call your person you with, most of the time we trying to take over everything. Yeah. We trying to make doctor's appointments. I yes. literally probably enabled my exes a lot. Um, that was a big mistake for me because I'm making doctor's appointments. I'm setting up debit cards, bank accounts, and I'm like, yeah. I need to show you how to do this stuff. I'm glad because you, I'm after glad a you while, said this. After a while, oh God, it becomes so much. And you sit up there like, damn, what I do for myself? I done did everything. And it's just like, I'm sitting up here, I ain't making no appointment for my damn self. Girl, I'm so glad you said that. Because he would tell somebody in a minute, like, 
she won't do this for me and she know this computer stuff. But it'd be like, <laughs> it'd say create an account. He like, I don't know what to do. I say, say create an account. <laughs> yeah. So like you said, I was used to being an enabler. Like, no, I don't want to raise my kids to be that way. Like, figure it out first. Yeah. And then, it, then once Maybe you show me you try. person to come to. Okay. <laughs> but at least show me you try. Yeah. Because. Yeah. That that's not the real world. Like stuff is just really not handed to you. Yeah. Like well, yeah. for most of us. Yeah. You know, so Yeah, yeah most definitely that's the truest thing. I hear this lady <laughs> and men. Mm. We mm. cannot enable. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> you hear that? Make sure you just show them what to do. If your mm. man don't know how to just show it to him, because I know how it is with y'all. We a little bit more yeah. faster in advance, yeah. you know. Even as little girls, you know, we was moving yeah. quick anyway. Boys was always a little bit more behind than what we were. So I get it. And I understand. You just gotta show me you try because I yeah. I know I know what I'm capable of and I'm I'm gonna try first before I ask. I'm gonna try. I'm, yeah, and then. Can you do this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, well, that is so good. Um, well, we got the balance. We learned that today. She totally is balancing her clothing line, her household, her other job. She doing self-care for herself. She just found time to come on here in this podcast and let us all wonder. know that. <laughs> so tell them where to follow you at one more time so they can go shopping y'all better make sure y'all take them credit cards out <laughs> don't check look if you still write checks put them checkbooks out <laughs> i got something even better for y'all okay we have after pay shop pay Ooh. paypal pay and what that means is you can get your stuff now and you break it up into four payments so you got a hundred dollar order you just pay twenty dollars i think it's like every two weeks or once a wow. month or something like that so it's a buy now pay later you don't have to use your credit. Um, they're not checking your credit or nothing like that. Um, but the website is A N D R E E A A. Um, I do drops every new pieces every three to four weeks, and that's something that I've changed now versus just dropping new stuff every day. I want to build up the anticipation, like okay, I know mm -hmm. some new stuff coming. <laughs> um, yes. My Instagram is Andrea Shop. Or Andrea Catrice. Y'all probably have seen one of my mm. videos. Oh, so. yeah, no, I'm going to keep posting it. Don't worry. I'm going to post it all the, way to, all the way to next week to this show drop, okay? Yeah, but this, one, <laughs> this was wonderful. So Okay. Um, well, I appreciate you coming I on. I appreciate you having me. Yes. Q, you got some last words for us over here before we close on out? Uh, no, well, no. Because I'm, I'm looking too pretty. I don't know how okay. to go outside. <laughs> you you <laughs> better. About to go on these streets. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't, I don't have anything to add. I do just uh, want to say congratulations uh, on the shop. And even mm -hmm. though you don't necessarily have aspirations right now, uh, the brick and mortar shop will probably definitely be something that will blow up. So yeah. Yeah. Um, even if it's not in the forefront right now, yeah. like don't don't put it too far on the back burner. Yeah, because yeah. girls be like, I need to pull up on you now. Nah, yeah. like, yo, I can't meet y'all right now. That's what it is. The business boundary I was talking about, like, I, I can't. Because some people be having me wait 30, 40 minutes at a spot. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't doing it. Yeah, look, she had to do it with me because I ain't well, no, I wasn't flat tired. Out. Look, no. I was supposed to come meet her. I was like, oh my God. I said, why is this happening right now? No, I'm, I'm talking about her. me being there and they uh -huh. said, okay, I'm going to be here. And oh, they weren't there. You just but, waiting. No, you would communicate with me. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, goodness. I just be waiting. Like, oh no, I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> okay, so make sure when y'all contact her, y'all go on her website. The website is shop. Yeah, it's the, honestly Shipping. the quickest way. I yeah. I do not hold people packages. Like, I want y'all to get y'all stuff as quick as possible. Somebody mm -hmm. emailed me like, I just ordered from you, and I bet not get my stuff in a month. <laughs> I wouldn't have sent this. Like, if I didn't ship it out already because it was already shipped, mm -hmm. I would have said, here go your money back. Because I'm what? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, we not hold So, pictures. typically, it take what, how long, when you do, what you do, like, two or three day shipping? Well, we local anyway. Yeah. So, your local with Michigan, I'm pretty sure it go kind of fast, though. Yep, and I use UPS because when I order something, I'll be kind of wanting it there so I know how it feels. So, I use okay. UPS because it's typically uh pretty quick um okay. so like even my farthest city um it's like four to five business days so that's like okay. somewhere florida or somewhere you know or california all the way so okay. it's typically michigan about what two days maybe one usually one, one day? business day Ooh, yeah, if they order it monday nine times out of ten depending on the time they ordered it they'll probably get it by tuesday oh so, wow like okay. she probably get her stuff by tomorrow 
Okay. We cool own our stuff. Right. <laughs> she own. Ain't no storage over here. Uh, <laughs> I be want it gone. So I can give you all the new stuff, so. All right. Well, she told y'all where to find her. Y'all know her business boundaries. Okay. And y'all know all her Instagram. Let's y'all make seen this easy for the both pieces. of us. I know, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And thank you so much for coming out. Uh, we are going to close down. I love y'all, as always. If nobody told y'all that they love y'all today, Candace, do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, stay tuned. I'll have episode six coming out. Um, I'm going to have some men coming on for my next go around. So y'all stay tuned. Follow me on Purple Lotus Flower 888 on Instagram. Um, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube station, which is where we are now. <laughs> um, you can also follow me on my personal page, Candy underscore Love Lifting, and my business page, Cream Treats 4201. Do not forget about my cookie shop, okay? I have an Etsy online cookie shop. Y'all go on to Etsy, just type in Cream Treats 4201, and all them beautiful big cookies are going to come up. Y'all make sure y'all order. It's a dozen for $24. <laughs> I do ship everywhere. <laughs> all right, y'all have a good one. Deuces.